Hello and welcome to this part of the demo on the Intelligent Office Voyant integration. My name is Marsley and I'm in the Voyant support and training team. Today I'll show you how to import clients from Intelligent Office into Voyant once integration has been set up via your IO App Store. Um, so once this integration is set up, you can log in to Voyant Advisor Go to access it. Log in to Advisor Go in the UK by going to www.planwithvoyant.co.uk. That's where I am now. And once you've logged in, in Plans, select Advisor Go. Once you're in Advisor Go, you'll land on this homepage screen here and you can click on the plus button bottom right to import clients using the integration. So I click on Import and select Intelligent Office. Here you'll be presented with a search window and you can search for your client from Intelligent Office. I'm looking for Millie Demo and here she is on the list. To import this client, I then click on the name and let it retrieve the data. It will bring through the name and date of birth of the client as well as any partners in the plan if there are any and you can also check on the next screen which assets and income are being pulled through. If you don't want to add any of these into Voyant, then just press skip as opposed to add. Once you're happy with this list, click done and you'll land in the dashboard view. You can see in dashboard view here in Advisor Go by expanding this little arrow, all the things that have been imported into the plan. And if it's something that's come from the import, you'll see that it has a little downward arrow with a line underneath it. You can then go through each entry one by one, checking it's correct, but also that it models what you want it to do for your cash flow and the planning you're going to do from there. Things to check are things like ownership, amount, growth rates and timings. For example, this employment, if I go to timings, it starts at the start of the plan and is assumed to be in the plan until Millie's retirement. Another place to check is the little list icon at the top right here. And this will give you the detailed information behind each year of the cash flow. So if I click on this, I can then scroll through the different years using the bar here. And in each year, you can check what's coming in in the cash flow and what's going out in the expenses, as well as which assets Voyance is using, any of your projections, net growth and so on in these tabs. Come out of this view by just clicking on this little list icon again and you'll be back into your dashboard screen. And you can also use that list icon when you're in the Let's See screen as well. In this plan, I'd like to add in some annual expenses. And to add something new into Voyant which hasn't been imported via the integration, you once in dashboard view, go down to this plus button bottom right. I'll select expenses. It's going to be a basic expense for the whole of the plan of £30,000 a year. So I'll put that in amount. And then I go to timing to check. Yes, it starts now and this expense continues every year until the end of the plan. If I wanted to make this basic living expense just in their pre-retirement years, I could drag the retirement event to the expense ends box, like so. Or alternatively, you can click on the event and set it as the end event. So this is me just putting it back to mortality now. You can also create a new event by double clicking anywhere on the bars here to add in a new event as a start and an end event. And that saves you doing it by going back to the timeline screen. So I'm going to save this expense now and you'll see in a second that the cash flow updates. And then I can use the magnifying glass to see which assets and income are being used to meet this need. And if I go to let's see, it gives me the breakdown of what these things are. Once your data is in and correct and as you want it, you can then start setting up your plan with new what if scenarios, changing and adding events in the timeline, adding and changing goals, comparing to other plans, running insights and generating reports. We don't cover that here, but if you'd like any more information on Advisor Go, please go to our website. You could, for example, sign up for one of our free webinars to learn more about it. There's also our searchable document library, which I'll give you the link to at the end of the call. 
For the next part of the demo, I'd like to go to a client which I already have in Buoyant and which I'd like to link to using the integration to update with information from Intelligent Office. So for this, I'm going back to my homepage and going to go to Paul and Paula Existing. This is a case that I've entered manually. You can see there's no downward arrows with lines underneath them next to the entries indicating that I've put these in myself. But subsequently, I've updated the values in Intelligent Office and I wish to have these updated values pull through into Voyant. So when in the plan and in the dashboard view, I go to the plus button bottom right and click import. I then find this client, Paul and Paula existing, and click on their names to choose merge. Overwriting would delete any what if scenarios and additional information you'd added into the plan and basically start it from scratch. In this case, I would like to keep the information that I do have in terms and in terms of the planning I've done, and I just want to update the values that I can update via the merge. So first of all, once you've clicked merge, check it's the same plan for the right people. And then you can go through each of their finances and decide whether you would want to connect the IO value with something in Voyant to update it, add it if it's in IO and not in Voyant, or skip if you don't want to add to Voyant. Here I'm going to connect everything up. And in the next section, it's asking which of the items in Voyant I connect it to. So for here, we've got employed company one, the value has changed slightly. I'm going to connect it to this one because I know it's the one, this one it connects to. Keep on clicking on each one to tell Voyant which of these accounts you're updating. And at the top here, you've got the values from IO and down the bottom is the current value in Voyant. You can see as well that you have the additional options of adding it new or skipping it as well. Once you're happy, you click done and it will update the values that you've just connected it to as shown by the downward arrow with the line underneath. If you've made any changes in IO subsequent to this, I would like to update your plan. You then go to the plus button, bottom right again, and click update. Final points to note about the integration from Intelligent Office into Voyant. This is one way it goes from IO into Voyant. There's potential for some two-way capability in the future in terms of storing reports, for example, but further two-way capabilities still require more research and needs analysis in terms of what should go back. If you see any errors in the dashboard view, instead of this let's see chart, click on each error to resolve. And these could be things, for example, that were not entered into IO, but things that Voyant needs in order to construct the plan. There's a guide on our website, which covers everything we talked about today. To get to this, type in support.planwithvoyant.com into your web browser, and you will land on our searchable document library. Here you can go to integrations and find the Intelligent Office integration guide here. You can also go to our website and click on support to see the various webinars, training documents and online help available there. The final thing to note is this integration only works via Advisor Go and not Advisor, though any clients you create or import into Advisor Go will be available to you in Advisor as well. That's the end of the demo. Thanks very much for listening.